Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about chapter 5 of Polity Panchayati Raj. So, let's discuss. After discussing the chapter, in this chapter there is a story. The story is a village called Tijia begins the meeting by saying the water problem in Hardas has begun very acute. The hand pump water has gone well below the point up to which the ground has been drilled. We hardly get any water in the taps. Women have to go to Suru river which is 3 km away to get one of the members suggests piping water for Suru and making an overhead tank in the village. But the other thing is that this is very expensive and it's better that field to deepen the hand pumps and then cleans the walls, wells for this uh, season. Then this is not enough. So, we need to do something more permanent as groundwater level seems to begin down every year. So, now we using more water than seeping into the ground. Another member, Anwar tells everyone that he has seen ways of conserving water and recharging, refilling. It means refilling the water. It in a village in Maharashtra where he had once gone to visit his brother. It was called watershed development and he had heard that government gave money for this work. In this brother village, people had planted trees. It means these are the solutions for the conserving water and how to conserve water and recharging the, refilling the water so examples are planting trees constructed check dams and tanks everyone thought that this was an interesting idea and gram panchayat was asked to find out in detail the next day the agenda for the gram sabha in the finalization of the list of the people below poverty line any bpl which had to be approved by the gram sabha as soon as the list is read our people began to whisper, Nitwar and has bought a color TV and his son has sent him a new motorcycle. How can we below poverty line? It means that uh, those people who are in below poverty line, they bought color TV and motor bicycle. This is impossible of below poverty line peoples. Then he said Surajmal mutters to the person sitting next to him Suraj says to Sokhi by how did Birzu's name get on the list he had so much land means those people who have so much land they also are under the BPL card that means below poverty line this is the story of a village in this type of examples are comes so Sarpanch noticed people whispering after seeing this. Then Sarpanch go to the Suraj gets up and says Om Prakash name should be in the BPL list. That means some pupils who are below poverty line. That means below poverty line needs people. They are not in this but those persons who are enough money to survive their life they have uh, they are not uh, their names are under bpl cards this means this is a unfair treatment of the people so let's discuss about what is gram sabha he is given Gram Sabha is a meeting of all adults who live in the area covered by Panchayat. Gram Sabha is a place where all meetings are held of 
adults people who live in a area that means covered under panchayat this could be only one village or few village in some states a village meeting is held for each village any one is any one who is 18 years old or more than who has right to vote and is a member of gram sabha gram sabha ki qualities there are you have to 18 years old and you live in a village and then you can participate in gram sabha gram sabha meeting begins with panchayat president meeting start from panchayat president who is called sarpanch also known as sarpanch and the members of panchayat uh, those me- uh, who are the members of panchayat they are called as panch presenting a plan or repairing the road and connects the village to maintain highway after this this discussion moves to subject of water and water shortage next is every village panchayat is divided into wards that means several smaller areas each ward elects representative who is known as ward member or panch all members of the gram sabha also elect a sarpanch who is panchayat president the ward panch and sarpanch form the gram panchayat the gram panchayat is elected for 5 years time period is for 5 years the panchayat has a secretary who is also secretary of gram sabha this person is not an elected person but is appointed by the government this is appointed by the government not by the people of the society the secretary is responsible for calling the meeting of gram sabha and gram panchayat keeping a record of proceeding gram sabha is a key factor in making of the gram panchayat it plays responsible it is place where all plans for work of gram panchayat are placed before the people all the works are completed and making plan with this place the gram sabha prevents panchayat from doing wrong things like misusing money or favoring certain people for example we will discuss uh, in previous example that is who are not uh, that means below pers- below poverty line people they also registered in this category this is a favoring a certain people it plays an important role in keeping eye on the elected representative that means which persons are elected by the people that it keep an eye keeping an eye and in making them responsible to persons who elect them let's talk about gram panchayat what is gram panchayat gram panchayat meets regularly and one of its main task is to implement development programs for all village that come under it those village are come under the gram panchayat they implement development programs for the welfare of the village as you seen the work of gram panchayat has to be approved by gram sabha that means which works used to welfare of the villages they are approved by the gram sabha in some states gram sabha form committees like construction and development committees in different different villages a uh, different criteria for following the activities uh, some uh, some villages forms committees for the different different ma- uh, doing ma- uh, committees for example committees including some members gram sabha and some form con- uh, panchayat work together to carry out task let's talk about gram panchayat this is the gram panchayat there are villages 
panchayat secretary are the member bdos are the member of ram panchayat community based organizations government staff elected representative village gram sabha villagers these all are the gram panchayat villagers of gram sabha that means elderly people women's poors backward caste tribals youth all of the members are come under this villagers and all this is the staff of gram panchayat next is the work of a gram panchayat includes construction and maintenance of water sources roads drainage school building and other common property sources these all are the work under the gram panchayat living and collecting local taxes executing government schemes related to generating employment in the village sources of funds for panchayat where is the uh, who provide the funds for the all these activities collection of taxes on house market place etc funds are provided through collection of taxes on the houses and market places government scheme funds received through various departments of government through the janpad and jila panchayats government schemes funds are provided with the help of this donations for community workers they donate for example this is the example of a maharashtra maybe yes this is the example of maharashtra two village funds from maharashtra who were awarded nirmal gram purush purushkar in 2005 they awarded with this for the excellent work done by them in panchayat they work very excellent in the uh, pupils who live in the village then we talk about three levels of government we read gram panchayat gram sabha that all after reading about in the gram sabha and gram panchayat in hardas village you can understand the panchayati raj system and in panchayati raj system people participate in their own government in rural areas gram panchayat is first tier to participate as like a democratic government jo the and the panch and the gram panchayat are answerable to the gram sabha and because its member are elected by peoples of the village this idea of peoples participation in panchayati raj system extends the levels of government and levels of panchayats there are three blocks gram panchayat block level panchayat and district panchayat let's talk about deeply in this topics gram sabha because it is members of elected idea of people's participation in panchayat raj system extend into other ways one is block level which is called janpad panchayat or other is panchayat samiti has many panchayat under it above panchayat samiti is the district panchayat or jila panchayat three levels of participation is gram panchayat district second is janpad gram panchayat mandal parishad block or panchayat block level and jila parishad yani district level let's talk about jila parishad actually makes development plans at a district level with the help of panchayat samitis it also regulates the money distribution among all gram panchayats within the guidelines given in the constitution each state in the country has its own laws and with regard to panchayats the idea is to provide more and more space to people participate and raise their voice 
दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द जिला परिषद एंड वी टॉक अबाउट 